Show me some breakdance. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start messing with the BAS4. So today, I'm just gonna do a simple thing. So like I do on all of my cars, I'm gonna debadge some of the emblems. So for this one, I'm going to debadge the Fender B6 T emblem and also remove the rear S4 emblem there. And of course, I'm gonna keep the Audi emblem there because that's gonna be, that's kind of weird for removing that to me. And then for the front, I want to get rid of this, but I can't get rid of this other than having to remove the whole or changing out the whole uh, front grill. So I already know what type of front grill I'm gonna get, but that's gonna be there for now until I'm able to get that grill that I wanted. So I actually already removed the driver's side V6T on the fender. Take a look here, right there, you see that? All gone like it was never there. I mean, if you look very, very closely, you can kind of see it, but you could barely see it. So, I'm going to show you guys how I did it on this fender and then finish it off by taking off the S4 in the rear. So before I get this video started, I just want to say, it'll be great if you guys can help support my channel by subscribing to my channel. All you got to do is hit that red subscribe button right under the video down there. Thanks guys. Dang. And that's the perks of living out in the outskirts with a bunch of farm around you and on the highway. All, the, all of these bugs. So annoying when it comes to washing the car. Look at that. So here are all of the tools and things that I use to remove the emblem. I got a heat gun here to heat up the adhesive a little flathead screwdriver or you can use floss to remove the emblem from the car. Then I have this little 3M specialty adhesive remover to remove the remaining that's left over once you remove the emblems. Then I have a rubbing compound with a drill or you can use a polisher to rub out the remaining of what's left over after cleaning it up. And then of course some rag and some fiber cloth to you know clean it up. Okay, so the first thing I'll be doing to the emblems is apply some heat so that the adhesive is soft and that the emblems are easier to come off. Now that they're hot to the touch, I'm just going to be using a little small flathead screwdriver. Like I said, you can use floss too, but I'm just going to use this just carefully hit it at the edge, don't hit and scratch the paint and just lift up the uh, emblem. See there, that one's coming off already. Hot. And that's what it looks like after. The next thing I would do is just use my fingers and slowly just rub off uh, the excess adhesive. You see there, it's already coming off a bunch of it there. So just do that on all of them. So that's what it looks like after trying to rub as much of that adhesive off as you can. Next thing we can do is use the adhesive remover to remove even more of that off. Just spray just a little bit, not too much. Let it sit for a little bit. And you can start rubbing it out. So that's what it looks like after the uh, adhesive remover. Now we can use the buffing pad and some uh, rubbing compound to clean it up. Wipe it up.
That's the first round. Apply a couple more round, and then we should be good. And there is the finished product. So like I said earlier, you can still kind of see it because the emblem is kind of like embedded in the paint already over time. But it's only really noticeable if someone actually, you know, look really close for it. But other than that, it looks pretty good without the emblem, in my opinion. All right, now let me go and remove the last emblem back here, the S4 emblem, using the exact same process. Yes? Yeah, mom's in your room. She's studying. How do you feel? Better now? Now that you ate? Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is what we got to eat today. Some shrimp ceviche from Costco. Cilantro lime chips. And some Costco pizza. Can never go wrong with Costco food. Alright, the last of the three emblem the rear s4 emblem is done there it goes so much cleaner without those emblem in my opinion so like i said the only one i have left is the one in the front and like i said earlier the front is actually embedded into the grill and if i do remove that it's just going to show like a little missing spot for that emblem there so the only way would be to swap out the grill so i already found the specific grill that i want to swap out with this one Hopefully that comes soon so I can do a video on swapping out the grills and so that you guys can see my grill setup that I want for this. So let me give you a few reasons why I always like to remove certain emblems or you know a bunch of the emblems on the car. Uh, one reason why is because it gives it a smooth clean finished look. The second reason is you know depending on the car for example, this one, it'll give it a sleeper look because people will, will just be expecting it to be like an A4, the slower of the A line of the Audi. And three, um, you would have less crevices for, you know, dirt and debris to get into, you know, uh, among the surfaces of the paint. So that's three reasons why I like to get rid of, you know, the emblems that are on the car. But... I'm not a big fan at all of getting rid of the main um, logo on the car. So the front main Audi logo and the rear main Audi logo, I would never get rid of that. So I know that a bunch of guys are not a fan of debadging cars, but I really like it because it looks so much cleaner. So I'm going to continue doing it. But for those who do like it, I hope that this video can help you guys out. If you guys do have any further questions or more detailed questions, just comment it down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Alright guys, so that's going to end it here. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel and to stay updated on the builds of all of my cars. Also, don't forget to provide any feedback in the comment down below so that I can help my channel grow. Anyways, thanks for watching this video guys. Uh, don't forget to like this video too if you guys find it helpful. I will see you guys in the next video.